The biggest things that you hear about dreadlocks is that it looks messy, it doesn't look presentable, it is dirty, it smells bad, and it's just not quite attractive look. Marie at a high school wrestling match in New Jersey told a wrestler he had to cut his dreadlocks or forfeit the match. So with the clock ticking, that wrestler, a teenager, chose to let the team trainer cut his hair. A Texas family is threatening legal action against their school district after their teenage son was told he could not walk at graduation because of his hair. The Barbers Hill School District told DeAndre Arnold that his long dreadlocks violate its dress code. DeAndre is being forced to either cut his hair or face an in-school suspension. I see it. Hey, and get your hair cut and uh, go ahead and get your fresh start because one thing about dreadlocks, they can grow back. Go down there with a nice, fresh, clean, clean, clean. Have you ever woken up late and you had an interview or a place to go to? Oh my God, I'm late. Oh. That you didn't even hear your alarm clock, that you had to rush and hurry to get to this place. But you realize one thing, your hair looks really messy. Maybe you don't sleep with a do-rag on or dreadlock bonnet or have different things to protect your dreadlock. I look ugly. <sighs> All right, welcome back to another video of Active Rush University. Today is a new day. Hey, we got a what? We got a banger. Let's yeah. go. And one of the biggest misconceptions about dreadlocks is that people esteem it to be a non-presentable hairstyle. We've seen in the past times in the dreadlock community where people had to have been asked to cut their hair in order to get an air interview, in order to wrestle even. There was a kid that cut his hair on the day of his wrestling match. Marie at a high school wrestling match in New Jersey told a wrestler he had to cut his dreadlocks or forfeit the match. Discuss tonight over this video now circulating the internet of this moment of humiliation. New Jersey high school wrestler Andrew Johnson having his dreadlocks cut by a trainer before a match. And I don't know, that dude been growing his dreadlocks for a while and he been wrestling till that moment that referee or whoever to dictate what they could and they should have on their hair decided to say you have to cut your hair. And that kid actually cut his hair with a God dang scissor. And I feel bad. Like looking at that, that's just crazy, man. Cut your hair just to just to be allowed. I'm not saying like it's not worth his wrestling career or anything like that. But the fact that they required it is the issue that I have. Going back to the misconception of dreadlocks, one of the biggest things that you hear about dreadlocks is that it looks messy, it doesn't look presentable, it's dirty, it smells bad, and it's just not quite attractive look. And I beg to differ, man. You, are you serious? A lot of those misconceptions come from the way dreadlock is looked at from the people that have been presenting it around those people that they have some kind of misconception of like, you know, oh, you can't afford to look good or to look sharp. So you go ahead with the messy look or, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's kind of like a lot of people's mindset of it. Or, you know, they, they esteem it and they see it as like rebellious. For example, my family didn't allow me to grow my hair when I was you know, a teenager in school, just when I was under them, they didn't allow me to grow my hair. The longest I was able to get it was like a fro type of deal. And there was even a time that I couldn't find a barber that I didn't get a cut for a whole year. And they even asked me to like, go get a cut or anything like that. So I had a fro pat down, pat down just nappy as heck like you wouldn't believe if i if i find a picture i'll throw it right there but it just looks so bad you know what i'm saying i was so embarrassed in school the thing is that i lived in the suburbs so not a lot of people have fades or had the kid had barbers to have fades i guess or the shame wasn't as great but still affected me i was embarrassed to like let my hair out i was embarrassed to do anything with my hair so i just always you know put some kind of water on it or something like that just you know tap and touch it a little bit here and there and put a hoodie on on top of it to cover it and i my school didn't allow hoodies to like for you to have hoodies because they it's suspicious or something like that and so literally i argued with teachers every class that I went to. Mind you that my parents didn't allow me to grow my hair, but my hair was growing, but it was under like, it was just like pat down. And going back, what I was saying is that, you know, when the people that have seen dreadlocks, you know, like our parents or different, like your parents, the, the moments that they see dreadlocks, they see it on 
almost like at the wrong time at the wrong situation or they have a misconception about it that that's all they see it's like think about it this way let's say you go buy a car or you go buy something unique and after you buy something that's unique you tend to start noticing it everywhere you go when I bought my car I noticed that there was millions of the same car that I had same color same wheel same everything all around where I was driving. And I was like, where did they come from? It's almost like GTA, right? When you get that car, you know, the whole neighborhood has that car. And it's kind of like that with the misconception also that people that see it, have seen it in the wrong situation, messy, ugly, and dirty, that that's all they notice about it every time they see drug locks or every time they see a good drug locks, it doesn't even hit them. Like it doesn't like affect the fact that this dude right here got one of the best drug locks in the game. And that's you right there. And it is up to us as a, as a drug line community really to change that misconception about people and not to really judge people for thinking of it that way. You know what I'm saying? It may not have been presented to them as the neatest, the nicest thing that a person can have on their hair. You see videos that are, you know, a lot of people, you know, having issues with, you know, dandruff buildups and different things, which naturally come with any hair, really. Uh, but with Drillock, of course, there's a little bit of more buildups because the hair is tightened up and it doesn't allow some things to flow out of it, basically. That we have to, you know, do ACV rinsing. We have to do, you know, different things, basically, to resolve those issues. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. And some people don't even have access to it. Or some people don't have the money to afford, you know, all these things that comes with the Drillock maintenance uh, but it's really easy to have drill locks I would say I can agree it's easier than having like again a cut every week or so uh, than a regular person than having a drill drug. I think for me when I had a throw was harder to maintain was harder to you know deal with versus when I have drill locks it's a little bit easier because it's not really a continual repair or washing that I have to do but it's, it's almost like it's almost like you know getting paid weekly versus getting paid as a salary monthly right two different things it's like with drill locks it's just like you don't have to wash your hair every day it's not necessary and it's actually even bad for you to wash your hair every day and so you, you do some kind of maintenance every month uh, maybe wash it a shampoo once a week or every two weeks or so to maintain the drill lock so it's always in that term I can understand where those mindset originate from uh, we've seen with TP locks he did one of the nicest response I would say to I think the person's name is Ricky smiles I'm not from here, so I'm not familiar with this guy or what he has done, but Ricky Smiles is, is one of the, I don't know, TV hosts, or so I don't know what, what he has done. Sorry guys, I didn't research, but I have listened to his respond to his cousin basically committing suicide because of not having uh, job opportunities or being failure in life and one of them being having a drug logs that he couldn't get a job to make his family proud in a different way or even Ricky Smiles proud or something like that, that he ended up committing suicide. Uh, I don't know if it's specific to drug lives, but I know that's being part of the thing that built up to his suicide is not having the opportunity and the opportunity was taken away because he didn't cut his drug locks. And TP Locks, like I said, he had a really good response. I, I see it in a different, a little bit different lens when it comes to when somebody giving you the opportunity to do something and they had requested something from you. Uh, of course, it comes up, it comes down to, you know, that person, like Ricky basically asked, you know, his cousin to cut his dreadlocks so that he can get this job that can make him a lot of money. And, you know, a lot of people responded with, like, he shouldn't have to cut his dreadlocks uh, and different things like that. And Ricky was saying that, you know, he looks more presentable if he cut the dreadlocks off. That is up to our community to present yourself presentable even with having dreadlocks. I think it's, it's a responsibility that comes on everybody to change that kind of perception that people already have about dreadlocks. And obviously, you know, Ricky Smiles didn't see it that way that, you know, that a dreadlock can be presentable. This is what I'm here to solve to you guys that you guys can be presentable as fast as you can within like five minutes. And so that's why I'm making this video is how can you be presentable with like less than like 10 minutes, about like five minutes of your time to having from here to where we're gonna go to. If you guys want me to respond to Ricky Smile's situation, I can make a whole video about it because I have a little bit different view than TP Locks and other people that have commented, but I have said a little bit about what I believe in this video, and so don't take me out of context on one thing that I say. Listen to the whole thing, and if you guys want more explanation of what I'm saying, just comment down below so I can present that because I think it is necessary that we all have a discussion like this and that we know that not everybody is, you know, a dreadlock family or that they think that dreadlocks are supposedly nice. I take upon myself even right now to make myself presentable with dreadlocks and be an example to my little brothers uh, because they're still, you know, under my parents and so 
my parents are a little bit strict, like I said earlier. And so if they can see it with me that how I can handle that, it'll create a different image for my parents to say and to allow my little brothers maybe if they wanted to grow in the future. Uh, or right now that they say, okay, go ahead. I see that, you know, actor versus looking nice with it. So I think it's up to us. But if you guys want me to elaborate on that, just leave a comment. Don't come for me yet till you hear my whole mindset of it. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna show y'all how to do is very simple. It's gonna take you about less than five minutes to do. You just grab you like a uh, rose water or like an oil with water mixed, some kind of liquid base uh, spray, or even you can use water. But I would recommend something that can help your drill lock. It could be, you know, lock growth oil or a healthy gel or anything like that that can help your drill locks. Right now, I'm using Lion Locks. And they have sent me this a while back ago, so shout out to them. I appreciate the you know the free supplements they have sent me. Next time, if you want to get sponsored, hit me up in my DMs or any brands. So I'm gonna open this up. It's an advanced rose water treatment for skin and locks. So this even is good for skin. And what I'm gonna do is very simple. Literally, I hold. I need a whole retwist. But what I'm gonna show you today is gonna be a little bit more simpler than a whole retwist, right? That's why it's not gonna take that long. It may even give you the impression of like being laziness, but trust me, if you have five minutes, it ain't, it ain't time to be lazy. It's time to do something before you leave because you can't leave like this. What I do is, is like I said, it may seem lazy, but it's really not. All right guys, so to start off, you just grab the section of the hair that you wanna just, you know, retwist real quick and make sure that, you know, separated, meaning that it's perfectly separated from where it should be at just by itself. And basically you twist it, apply some spray. You wanna cover your forehead so your forehead don't get shiny. You know, this is rose water, so it's not gonna have like a great build up or anything. And so yeah, you just wanna twist it like this and then hold it down. You can even put it like that. That's what I do usually. Or hold it with my mouth. I don't recommend you to hold it with your mouth. You know, that's kind of nasty. Now I think about it, because usually I'd be like, got it, got it. Now that I think about it, it's hair. Like, you don't want to put that in your mouth. So, yeah, right here you see you know, another section. Boom. Make sure that is good. As you can see, it used to be all trimmed down right there and lined up. But now it's connected back to my dreadlock, which I'm very proud of. This is what it looks like close up. See that? That whole part used to be down here, and I was part of the dreadlocks, which I love to see. You know what I'm saying? I want it to grow, I want it to flourish. I don't want it to get it chopped and you know my hairline to be screwed up back. So yeah, so you do the same thing to this. Um, make sure you're not spraying your forehead. You don't want to look shiny. And literally, it's not even gonna take you that long. And after I do this, I'm gonna time myself and I'm gonna give you guys also the secret before I time myself on what I do. So this is what I was talking about when I said it could be a little bit lazy, right? And that is you just do your front of your hair. Don't worry about the back of your hair. You can do it at the best time that you can with the best ability and skill that you have at the time that you give it to do it versus just to do it with five minutes. You can't do your whole dress. I have like about 50 something dreadlocks. I, I could recount uh, soon, but you know, since recently I had it cut and reconnected. It used to be a kind of different things. My dreadlocks has went up and down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And so, yeah, so with, with this, what I'm showing you is literally just the front of your hair, about like this section, this, this area right there. And literally, by the time I'm done, it looks like I have the whole dreadlock retwisted, styled out really good. And I'm gonna time myself right now to show you how long it would take you. And I will do the parts that I just told you I would do. And time I'm about to start in three, two, one, let's get it. I'm even slacking. Let's go.
five, literally five minute, right? So once you're done with this, you know, it's a look section pretty good in the front. Like I said, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look presentable. Five minute retwist, are you serious? So if I'm a lactation and I'm doing this, I can just get done five minute, five minute, five minute, five minute, 20 minute, boom. You're done with somebody's head, $100. All right, so, you know, I did this just now. What you do from here is you want it automatically, cause you know, we did it with water, we didn't do it with gel and wax, be wax and different with it. I don't use all that stuff. So what I usually do is I automatically take it to a ponytail style or to a method that holds it there, you know? Cause if you leave it like this, you know, there's a type of person, you know, that let it down, different things, your hair will end up coming out just cause we didn't use a lot of stuff. And if your hair doesn't do a ponytail, I feel sorry for you, I know your pain. Be consistent. You I get there because I used to think the same way I used to be like when is my hair gonna be in a ponytail when can I shake it that was the first thing and then when can my uh, hair be in a ponytail that's the second thing when can my hair be like in a bag with braids you know different things but be patient for now use different styles you can do two strand twist on your dreadlocks you can you can do it definitely on dreadlocks you can do you can braid it or different things like that but like I said if this is five minute a kind of like iffy situation for you what I would recommend to do is get like a hair tie or a bigger hair tie they, they sell that when I had a short hair I used to use a rubber band or a headband like this or a hair tie like this I was a little bit longer than uh, normal and I would go back like that and I just basically put it like that and it'd be a little bit tighter but this can work too if it's not that tight and then I'll hold it like that and it's literally your hair would be hanging back like a like a headband basically it'd be held like that you know my hair is long so it's kind of like weird like what the hell are you doing with your hair but uh, that's what I would do if I had short hair if I had long hair like like mine and those of you used to have long hair I'm not trying to look presentable in five minutes I just automatically go with the hair tie, grab it, grab it with the hair tie, and you know, I've been trying to look for a hair tie, so some of them came down, most of them are there still, and I will just, you know, twist it, hold it, twist it, hold it, twist and hold, mainly the front parts, mainly the ones you did, so they don't come off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, is a, this is a life hack, fam. And then, you know, apply your hair tie, and different things, and boom, you look fresh to death. Are you kidding me? You did this in five minutes? Yes, I did. And I sh I'll show you even a better better shot from this light right here. I don't have a haircut or anything like that. Look at that. It's like, it looked like I'd have my whole head retwisted and everything. Of course, with gel, it would be more tighter. If you use gel, you know, if you're the type of person that actually likes gel or have like a natural good gel, then just go for a gel and uh, make sure that it's not too much that it ends up giving you a bit up. But it's very lightly, but it'll be able to hold it even more uh, firmly and more nicely than, you know, rose water or uh, oil that I've just used. But that's the best way to, to do it. Use rose water oil. Trust me, guys, you don't want to create buildups. You know, you just want to keep your hair as healthy, as natural as possible. And after this, like if you have like a hair liner or like a clipper, which I've been recommending you guys to go get, get you a hair liner, get you a uh, lineup clippers, just because having a gel locks and stuff like that you want to line up yourself you don't want to keep going to a barber that's going to keep pushing your hairline back and you want to take it upon yourself it's better to make the mistake yourself than for somebody else to make the mistake because you'd be mad at them so that you can't really be mad at yourself you can't just be like uh, and then you get over it i'm gonna get a clipper and i'm gonna show you guys how to even like make it really look nice like i applied for it uh i'm here to get an interview even if you don't have an interview just go look look at them like that i have an interview here and i look down so they can see your hair and they'd be like whoa this dude's hair is like i'm just so excited to help you guys that I'm about to almost break my uh, camera, but let me show you guys the lineup part right here. This is cool. This is like you literally would transform your life. And like I said, this is five minutes. I know it's taking forever, but talking everything was five minutes. I'm taking five minutes without talking. So now that you see, you know, before and after, uh, you know, you start brushing basically. If you don't have a liner, just brush it here. Hopefully, you got a brush or a comb. I'm gonna get to my beer part. I'm just gonna do, you know what I'm saying? Right here. Look how crispy it looks. And you wanna keep brushing so you know which hair is like extending. Cause they don't, you know, it'll look different like, or if it goes back like this. And you don't want this to be straight, straight. <laughs> you want it to curve a little bit. So that's what I'm curve. I'm giving a curve, but I can tell right here it's going boom, boom. And the fact that I can tell is because of when I mess it up, what is the default? The default is you, you. I'm gonna brush it down. It looks good when it's brushed down, but I still would need to fix the curve a little bit. That's a curve. And then I'm gonna match it to the other side before I go there. I want this to be pointy. I like it pointy. I can leave it like this, but I want it to be pointy. I'm like a little bit perfectionist. It seems like, you know, there's a dark spot right here. 
and the rest is not really as dark, but I'm trying to spread my hair out so on one side it don't be thin. As you guys can see, I'm just pushing it just lightly back with the you know ex external hairs out here. Obviously earlier I showed you guys that this is darker, this is lighter, so trying to brush it to where it looks even. Now I'm gonna do the same hairline that I did on the other side, and I'm gonna copy the same thing, same steps. <laughs> my friend is how you line yourself up oh look at that yeah 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 so guys yeah this is how you do it look presentable at everywhere you go because we have to represent who we are and we are the lock fam the verse fam thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy it leave a comment and a like and a subscribe i gave you guys so much gem so what i actually want you guys to do is listen back from the beginning to the end and pick out things that you really like and comment down below last winner of the best comment is this person right here you have won a free Drella jewelry for commenting the best comment ever just hit me up on Instagram all you have to do is take care of that shipment and the Drella is free for you you can either pick one of the three or you can pick two of each whichever one you want just hit me up on Instagram and you have it my guy thank you guys for watching this video till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe I'm Activerse and I'm out stay tuned God bless